Strengthen us where we are weak. Yes, Lord. Build us where we are torn down. Yes, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. On all of us. Yes. For we all have sin and come short of your yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Even when we are at our best, the book yes. of Revelation, Jesus has said we are like filthy yes. 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 Jesus, Jesus. You rest down and created us in your image. Yes, yes Lord. You took dirt and made her human being. You took two fishes and five barley loaves. You just spoke and said, peace be still. Yeah. In the wind, okay. I know that yeah. you can do this now. Yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Isaiah said, yes, we're wounded for our transcript. Thank you, Lord. Abused for our need. We also said that by your strike, yeah. Yeah. we heal. Yeah. Thank you. Give us Thank you, that faith. Lord. Yes, Lord. That we would believe, Father, mm -hmm. the impossible. Yes, Lord. Move now yes. all over this place. Yes. Open up. Yes. Touch our hearts. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Go with us. Yes. Oh, I ask that you take, protect everyone that is standing here yes, on the sound of how we vote. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Pray, oh God, that you would travel with baby and them all the way to North Alabama. As King put them in the military. Put a hedge around them. No weapons for them, Shepard. In the name of Jesus. Pray, oh God, that you would continue to bless our elderly in this church. In the name of Jesus. Well, touch diabetes in this body. If it be thy will. Touch our blood. Yeah. If it be thy will, yeah. touch counsel. Yeah. If it be thy will, yeah. keep me safe from harm. Yeah. Every time death comes, yeah. send Michael to heal me. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I too want to live a long life. Yes, Lord. If it be thy will. Bless each and every one's family. Yes, Lord. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 sir. If it be thy will. Yes. We have a serious case here now. Yes, Lord. Lane is the provider yes. for his family. Yes. He's the head and not the chief. Yes. Help us, Father, to help him. Yes. yes Lord. Show him some love and kindness. Yes, Lord. As I stand before you, as humble as I know how, ask you to do this in your son Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I declare. Yes, Lord. I decree. Yes, Lord. And in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. that it will be done. Yes. And everyone that believes, say amen. 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 Let's give God a round of praise right now. Let's start praising God right now. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say it's done. It will be done. Oh, 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 oh. Amen. Church, say amen. Say amen again. Amen. Ties offering. Ties offering. Amen. I don't know about you, God. I believe that prayer will work. If the saints of God pray, Amen. something gonna happen. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. We need some prayer warriors Amen. in this church. Amen. Somebody that believe in healing. Yes. In this church. That's right.
We're praying for all of you. Every one of you that are sick. We're praying. That God will touch and heal your fever body. Amen. Amen. Pines off in the middle of front bring it, he said. We come today, Lord. Bad children before the pen. We come as an empty picture before a full fount. We come begging you, please forgive me, Lord. It's all. Oh. Please, Jesus. Oh. 
we owe him our praise. But he is worthy of our praise. Amen. Why do you know I'm going to say that? All right. He's worthy. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. Go with me back to the book of Revelation, the 21st chapter. Amen. 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 That's all right. Go with me back to that fifth verse. Yeah. Like I said, I told you that I was going to pick back up. Amen. On this again. I want y'all to put it on your calendars. Mm -hmm. April the 14th. Amen. We'll start our road to Calvary. I didn't say Beasley Road to Calvary. I said I road to Calvary. Mm -hmm. Minister Evangelist Doris Beasley, I ain't Doris, started off that Monday night. All right. Amen. I didn't say Beasley Road to Calvary, but Star Baptist Road to Calvary. You need to be in the house. If nobody else be in the house, the church members ought to be Amen. in the house. That's right. Amen. A lot of you have found discovered that a lot of folks don't know why Christ came and died for our sins. All right. The reason, this is my belief, that we would have the right to eternal life and glory. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, I, I, this is my belief. That Friday night, Pastor Terry Carter from Albany, Georgia, I believe, will be here that Friday night with us. And that Saturday night, all the way up to Easter Sunday, we'll be in service. Y'all don't have to get quiet. Amen. You still have time to go to the joke joint. You know that still go to the joke joint. Stop by the church. I advise you that Paul said in the book of Romans that you're on the gambling ground. When the Lord come, just keep on doing what you're doing. Hello? There's going to be a rapture in a little while. That's right. Amen. I don't know the day nor the hour. Right. But the Lord is coming. Yes, he is. And he's, he tells us in his word that cry out and spare not. I got to tell you that the wages of sin is death. Well. But the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. And I want you to know, I don't want you to think when you dead, you are done. Because you're not done. There's a judgment to come. Right. Every one of us is going to have to stand before the judgment. Amen. Paul declared it in 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 that we all will appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. To stand for the things that are done in our bodies. Amen. Whether it's good or bad. Those of you that have the 21st chapter of Revelation, the fifth verse, go back with me. Amen. And he that, I start, y'all know we stand in the reading of the word. Oh, I ain't like y'all don't know. Amen. I know you're on TV and stuff. You don't want folk to see that you unlearn now. And he. He that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Thank you, Lord. Thank and he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. The sixth verse, he says unto me, It is done. Somebody say, I am, I am the Alpha and, and the Omega, the, the beginning and, and the end. You may be seated. All right. And I would give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Amen. And he that overcomes shall inherit all things.
things. And I will be his God and he shall be my what? Son. My what? Son. My son. Come on, somebody. Amen. All things. All things. Are new. Yes. John is still speaking. We stopped at the third vision from the 8th to the 11th chapter. Amen. That what the, the disasters will fall and befall on the earth. John is still speaking to us. Mm -hmm. He is writing what the Spirit has told him to write, what the Lord has instructed him to write. Yes. Are y'all gonna pray with me? Amen. John, even in these chapters, in these seven visions, John heard the thunder and he was beginning to write and he was fixing to write what he heard and then the spirit of the Lord said stop yes. write no more Amen. he said send it up Amen. come on somebody John began to be he was going to tell us all that was going to happen because he is the he's the beginning and the end and he's the, the past the, he's the future and he's the present are y'all here? Yeah. John began to explain to us in writing. He began to put these, amen, secret codes in writing. He was trying to get the, his message across because during this time, it was a wave of persecution against all the saints. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. amen. Bruce and I was talking this morning. He had saw that on Fox News. And I had to tell him, man, you can't pay attention to what Fox News said. Amen. Because Fox News will have you thinking Obama is the Antichrist. Right. I've never seen, I said, I don't care if I was on national TV, I've never seen a president so disrespected than our president, Amen. Obama. All right. All right. Barack Obama has been one of the most disrespected presidents in our history, the history that I read. Some of them that was president should have been president. Mother Casa, I cannot figure out. We had this book. All down through here, this book is not new. Never changed. Huh? Never changed. Right. He right, said, I'm the same God today right. and yesterday. Yes. Yes. Our change is not. Yes, you're right. They had this same book. And this same book said, Love thy yes. same commandment. said, Love thy neighbor. Yes. 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 And a lot of these jokers I'm talking about, I ain't got nothing against a Republican. I think like some of the Republicans think, but I don't go to the screen with this. We didn't teach our children to hate our Caucasian brothers and sisters. We didn't wait till they got a certain age and tell our children there's a difference between you and little Sally over there, or little John over there. My grandmama showed it until there was a difference between myself, my brothers, and Bobby Ward and children. All right. They didn't tell us that. All they told us, you is just as good as that kid across the street. Amen. Hello? Amen. I personally, and I'll tell it on national TV, I personally think George Bush was one of the stupidest presidents we've had. Well, they said it too. Hello? Amen. But, it don't give me the right to hate him the way they do in President Obama. They'll tell you in Obamacare that if you got to take them little things to have it stuck in your arm. The Bible, Revelation, speak about this. The marking of the beast. Then the Fox News with parade. That some of those editors, the anchor men, will have you believe that he is the Antichrist. Yes. When they really need to search themselves. Yes. That's right. That's in the mirror. I had to tell you, no, man, that ain't so. If Fox, you got that from Fox News, you let that go in one ear and out the other. Amen. They hate Obama so bad. And if they can get Sean Hannity on his own radio show and all him and what that other guy named? I don't know. I'm watching. Uh, boy with the man with the ponytail. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Be on the radio. What his name? Leah Luck Rush Limbaugh. If he can call black folk that N word on the radio, if he can talk about call our president stupid, I can say George Bush was a stupid president. Uh -huh. And don't get no repercussion from it. Uh -huh. That's right. Tell it. It is what it is. It is just what John said it is. It is. If he was a, if he was white, it wouldn't have been nothing said about him trying to That's insure right. 125 million people with insurance. Right. Do I agree with Obamacare? Not all of it. 
I don't think the government should make you take anything that you don't want. That's just my, my belief. I don't think they should find you because you didn't get some health care. They make you go to court and you're like you a criminal and you being tried because you didn't. Well, you didn't court, man. I didn't have health care. And they want to find this to me oppressing the poor. Because there's some poor folks that ain't making enough money to even afford the affordable health care. Because we got a Republican Party that want to raise the minimum wage. Now you watch this. Come 2016, I'm going to move on to this sermon. If a Republican president, come president, John Bain and all of them boys, Ted Cruz, they were bring the economy back up. They sent it over the cliff to make him look bad. Like some of us are still asleep. We don't know. You cannot sell me the Brooklyn Bridge. That's why a lot of white folk don't like me. Because you ain't going to sell me something that you don't own. All right. You rushed the Montgomery Beaver told me if you don't market, y'all don't market this house, this land, boy, you can stand on your own. So far, the shoot day, none of that I know have never mortgaged that property there where we live. Right. They told me, say, if you don't mortgage this, y'all don't get it? Look here, don't, don't mortgage it. You can always be firm. That was he rushed the Montgomery Beaver said, you can be firm. Right. And that's why I stand like I stand. I stand alone. Me and my brother don't even share the same ideas. I love him to death. Amen. I stand up with him as long as he's right. right. And when he's wrong, I tell him he's wrong. That's it. That's it. Bruce Fox News is way off base. Right. When you see it, come on. Sean Hannity, all of those guys, turn it. Because yeah. that'll build up hate in you. Amen. And hate is too much of a burden to bear. Yes, you cannot live in this world hating for they had that same Bible in slavery they had right. when they were being Negroes, mm -hmm. hanging them, mm -hmm. and nobody said a word. Amen. They hated Amen. Dr. King because he stood for equal equality justice for all men. Everybody be created equal. We, was, we were born created equal. God is the father of all of us. Amen. They went to church. Amen. Yeah, dog, baby, they went to church every Sunday. Some of them would speak to you if they were walking up the church step. You say good, good morning. Right, sure. mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Right. When they coming out the church and they can see you, you can say good evening. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> racism is something not in, that bred in you. It was not you weren't born with racism. It's something that was bred in you by your parents. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. When my kids came along, I told Justice and BJ and Candace, you just as good as little Bob boy Austin. Right. They were playing a game one day. Janelle suggested let him win. I said, no. No, you don't let him win. If he can't win it on his own, you don't let him win. No, 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 no. If he can't master, it's going to be on him. You don't let him win. I did it. No, no, no. I didn't do that. They weren't going to beat me out of one nickel. <laughs> Bob them knew that they weren't going to beat me out of a nickel. He sold me a chicken for a nickel. I wanted my chicken or you give me my money back. <laughs> or they knew it was going to be a fight on that hill. Yeah. My brother James know this, brother, because it would be a fight. If I get him paid you a dime for a rooster, I got to have a red rooster with no beaties bone. <laughs> you got five beaties and two of them. Hey, look here. We can kill the other one because two or half of them are yeah. I go across the street and get him in a minute. If you kill my cat, I'm coming to get your dog. <laughs> Ain't that what the words that I for an eye? But I'm glad we don't live like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. We got Jesus now. Christ came right. hey, when He came on the that He fulfilled all of that. We ain't got to do none of that now. Right. We can go to Him in prayer. He said, I'll make your enemies your footstool. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Now let's go. We done had our moment. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's get back on the Bible. Let's get back on the Bible. I had my moment. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Everything I tell you is in the Bible. All right. I just look at the word different from everybody. Amen. Y'all want hear it? I, I believe it is what it is. God's word don't change. Amen. Man will change, but God's word is still the same. Right. You got folk that will walk right past you. Amen. 
Some of them still, but they, they hoping that the south. I used to hear them over where I work, and I hear them say all the time, "Be glad when the south rise again." I have to tell them, boy, them, them boys, man, look at them, good old boy. When the south rise again, it gonna be like you think it's gonna be. You better understand now. You ain't gonna be going back beating for children, not you. You can't not kill one another. They will kill you too. Okay. Ain't gonna be that stuff. Be persuaded with your own mind. Ain't yeah. that what the Bible said? Paul said, be persuaded by your own mind. Amen. A lot of folks don't like you because they can't tell you what to think. Amen. That's why I ain't like being clean like them. You, Rebecca Bean and them don't like me. Mm -hmm. I know that. I got sense enough to know that. Right. I'm going to say this mother cousin I'm going to move me to y'all. Yes. <laughs> I looked at George Gamble, dad at work, 40 years with the city. Yes. With no insurance, mm -hmm. he had 12 or 13 children. Amen. It wouldn't make him, they wouldn't make him but minimum wage. Right. At that time, minimum wage couldn't have been much. Mm -hmm. When I come to the council in 1994, I tried to get them insurance and state retirement. Put them on state. We're going to cost us $180,000 to put them on state retirement. Look at these folks that gave 40 years of their life for you this city. They done picked, picked up your filthy garbage. They done took this stuff. They cured them running home, grabbing them by the clothes. Don't know what they've been exposed to. And they didn't have that garbage truck like they got. Now you can pull up and put the thing on the back of it and pick it up. They done put it on the back of a doggone flatbed truck. I've seen Mr. George Gamma and... Will it be Johnson and grab a, a pair? We didn't have them garbage cans. We had them big drums. Mm -hmm. Grab them sometime in the rain like it did. Water all in them guys. We pick them things up and throw it over the bed of that truck. And you can't pay $180,000. That same Rebecca be the Billy Billy Wife said, no. Hey, then you had two other blacks in there on the side of me. No, we don't need, man, it ain't our fault they didn't get in retirement. They couldn't have nothing taken out. George mm Hammond -hmm. had about 17 children. Will it be Johnson had 20? All right. <laughs> huh? Mr. Avery Lohman had seven or eight. All right. They had to work on a Saturday just to make ends meet, mother. Right. And here you sit with a $4.2 million budget and you don't want to spend $180,000 put them in insurance and state retirement that they can retire and get a check. At the end of the month, signed their Social Security. And when they got Social Security, Mr. George would say his check ain't no more, probably about five or six hundred dollars. Forty years. Yes. I seen this man cry. Yes. They gave him a three dollars and ninety-five cent dinner from the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> didn't give him a gold watch. <laughs> no, Deacon Jackson didn't give him a gold watch. <laughs> didn't give him a plaque. Three dollars and ninety foot five cent dinner, and said thank y'all for y'all service. I went off. All right. I went off. All right. I be on with the hell off on them because it was wrong. Y'all, right. y'all say hell too. Sitting up here like y'all don't say hell. Some of y'all say worse than that. I went off and don't care who don't like me for that. All right. From that day, I worked my butt off. The four years I was in our week, got it passed. They get state retirement when they first sign up. Whether you want it or not, you're going to get it. All right. Nobody should have to rework 40 years on a job and retire to nothing. Amen. Amen. They got retirement in insurance now. Because of Charles Bean. When I die and leave this world, they said, what did he to do with his legacy? Well, he got insurance for the health workers. Not only that, when the Barber County Sheriff Department got them health care in state retirement. A lot of them will walk right by me and don't even speak. All right. All right. Don't know the struggle that William Costin and myself had to go through to get that for them. I want whatever the next man wants. They told me in Louisville, Alabama, Mother County, do you think a white man should make more money than a black man? I said, we should make the same. Or yes, I've been here longer. I should make more money than this person coming behind me. I don't care if it ain't but 50 cents more. You should give me that. They told me I can find another job. You know what I did? No, I ain't. I'm going to find another job, but I'm going to sue you before I go. 
Right. Amen. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So don't let Bruce, don't let Fox News have you thinking our president is the Antichrist. And George Bush wasn't the Antichrist. And Obama sure ain't the Antichrist. To put Bush in George, Bush didn't even have a degree. He could probably spell a good, uh, what the word they use? Direct, dissect, the Greek word for justice. He probably couldn't even spell it, but Obama wrote brief for the appeal of your court. Hmm. Don't let nobody tell you that he ain't a good president. He might not ain't the best president. Bill Clinton he was still better. But he ain't far from Bill Clinton. All right, all right. People mad because he wanted to give people hell. Cause they don't realize the boy said it when he was campaigning. He watched his mama die Amen. because the insurance company would not pay. I watch grandmama, my uncle mama go to the hospital and they turn around and still go and send them back. Because she didn't have insurance. Right. Grandmama never smoked a day in her life. But she died with cancer at the lungs and cancer at the liver. Had spread it on the body. They wouldn't even give her a shot. Told her, told her she'll never, you got to take her back home. And all we do is tell her to take her back home. She died. In my arms. She died. At one forty, you fall ahead because she didn't have any shirt. Medicaid said we don't resort to Medicaid. You and we can't pay no more. So they'll tell us that we don't need health care. If we don't need it, how come other countries can have it and they ain't got near what we got? Why can't all of us have health care? You just got to go online and pick the policy you're going to get. Amen. And what I like about Obama thing, he said, hey, the doctors can't refuse you. You got a resistant element. That means if I got a back problem, you can't turn me around. Right. I mean, somebody about to be trying to see about my back. Can I get a witness? Amen. Let's move back to the fifth. Right. The first chapter, fifth verse. We're going to close. <laughs> the new. <laughs> All things are new. I like that fourth verse with John wrote when Jesus said to him on the Isles of Patmos, there will be no more pain, no more heartache, no more dying, Amen. no more crying. He said, I'm going to wipe away all tears from your eyes. Right. Some of you are crying now. Yes. Some of you are going through some stuff. Some of you are going through some strong trials and tribulations, some great trials and tribulations. Some of you have been beat up, put down, look at him, right. looked upon that you was nothing. Don't let folk tell you you ain't nothing. Right. You a child right. of God. Right. Uh, and God loves you in spite of yeah. what people say. Right. I like that part. He said all things in the fifth chapter would be made new. Yes. He said a new heaven, a new earth. Old things, former old things have passed away. Yes, sir. It's done away with. It's done away with, now it's through with. Yes, yes. You don't have to worry about old things. The old word is going to burn off. Yes. That's what the Bible said. Mm -hmm. God Himself will be in this new earth. Yes. Because it's coming out of God. First of all, God is not human, Amen. God is a spirit. He's a spiritual being. He's from earth to glory at the same time. Everything begins with God, it's going to end with God. The war in heaven, Satan going to be released. You'll find that in the 8th chapter. Where the angel will go down and release Satan from his bottomless pit. The beast in the bottomless pit will be released. Hello? He said there will be a smoke coming out of this bottomless pit that will cover the earth in darkness. You'll be in darkness. There will be some sunny days and there will be some dark days. Right. There are some dark days in our life spiritual like it is now today. We are having some dark days. Come on somebody. I've heard Dr. when Dr. King was on the scene there will be some dark days ahead of us. Hello? But don't you waver. I like the second chapter 
in that chamber, he said, well, some of you will be even cast into prison 10 days. Mm -hmm. Why? Y'all better go home and start reading this thing. Why would you be cast into prison? Because I told you earlier, it was a wave of persecution against all the saints. Everyone that believed and called on the name of the Lord, they were cast into prison. Be cast into prison for 10 days. Jimmy, are you there yet? Mm -hmm. 2nd chapter 2 and 10, Revelation. Oh, Revelation 2 and 10. You there, buddy? Oh, you got the baby. That's all right, baby. Meet you there? Yes. Come on, man. Stand up and read that. Fear none of those things uh -huh. which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried. Uh -huh. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Uh -huh. Be thy faithful unto uh -huh. death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Now, you see the right of John, Jesus is speaking. The devil will put some of you in prison. Mm -hmm. That means the saints of God are going to go through some stuff. All right. yes. You're going to go through some hell and high water called for his name's sake now. Right. Some of you are going to jump ship. Huh? I feel for you if you jump ship now. Amen. Some of you are going to go take the market of the beast. Because that's going to be the only way you can get anything. That's right. Is that you got the marking of the beast. But then there's some of us that's going to be in the earth. That the real saints going to say, no, we ain't going to take it. Oh, no, we're going to keep preaching. We're going to keep praising God in spite of what you say. Yes. God is God. He Because in the final... Analysis, you go back to the 22nd, when you read it to the end, sister, Billy and Oates going to take you there, and I'm going to bring it up and sum it all up for you. In the end, God will win. Hello? Uh -huh. That's what you got to focus on. I told you there will come a time in which will be a dark day that you won't even be able to open these Bibles. You got to have a word written in your heart. That's the scripture. Yeah, Otis. It's got to be in your heart. That's right. How many of you got the word down in your heart? Amen. You got to get this word. You look at you got to eat this word. You got to eat it. That's right. It's it, it going to be sweet yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. It might be bitter when you digest it. That's what John said. The word was sweet in his mouth. But when he digested, it was bitter. Mm -hmm. Hello? Because the word cut like a two-edged sword. It tells you the word make you look at yourself. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. If God was to come and Jesus cut the sky right here, right now, and say, Give an account of your stewardship, will you be ready to stand before Him? Will you be ready to stand before Him and give an account of your stewardship? Hello? Because you won't have to stand now. Paul have declared in 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. Paul declared. There's going to be a judgment. Yes. Jesus is telling John what to tell you and I in his word. For the saints of God, look, many just told us, the devil will have you tried and put in prison. Yes. But be faithful unto them. He said, look at, be faithful of your stewardship unto God. Your belief, your walk with Christ, you stay faithful. You stay, hey, stay on the course. Don't abandon God. Because God ain't going to abandon you. The book of, the book of Hebrew, he said, the writer says, hey, he will never forsake you, nor will he leave you. When you're going through, Sister Gamma, going through your trials and your tribulation, just know that God is going through, which he's right there. Right there. All the time. And he will never walk away and leave none of us. What I like about it, man, Peter said, 1 Peter 5 7, to cast all your cares upon the Lord, for the Lord cares for you. It's written. Yeah. I know I got to go through some trials. I know I got to go through a test. But you understand, Christ went through it all for us. Look what Christ done for you and I. They beat this man 39 times. They whipped him. Then put a cross on his shoulder. Not a dry cross, but a dogwood cross. And it was green. That means it was heavy. Mm -hmm. And he took it to Calvary. 
They commanded Simon Serene to come and help him bear the cross. They took it to God, God was healed. And he hung, bled, and died. In the book of Revelation, he said, I behold, I am he that was dead. But I'm alive forevermore. He said, I got all power now in my hand. But what I like about Peter, 1 Peter 3, 18, 22, it leads me to believe I ain't talking about what Nelson said. I ain't talking about what Haley said. I am not talking about what Unless said. But I'm talking about what Charles Beasley have read. It leads me to believe in my spiritual mind. Christ did not stay in that grave. That was some unfinished business. That's right. With Satan. Hello? Mm -hmm. The word teaches me in the book of Revelation teaches Satan had the keys to death. Amen. Can you imagine? <coughs> Jesus yeah. stepping out of the back door of the grave. Right. Going down in hell. Your Bible might say hey, but hate and hell are the same. Yeah. Going down in hell. Changing Satan to his pit. Mm -hmm. Lock him there. Take the keys to death. And come back through the grave. Amen. I see why Paul said, Grave, where is your victory? Grave lost his victory when Jesus went out of the grave and went down in hell. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. You got to have a, how many of you got imaginary man? Can you see this? Can you see this in your spiritual? Eyes that Christ going down the head to get the keys to death to come back for you and I. My Lord, my Lord. The word tells me Satan had the keys to death. Uh -huh. Jesus went and retrieved the keys from Satan, come back through the grave and said, Grave, yes. where is your victory? Yes. Begin to question death. Devil, where is your stain? Yes. I done took your bed. Where is your stain, old man, devil? Revelation 1, if you read Revelation 1, the very first chapter, they tell you he stepped out on the resurrection ground and said, Behold, I am he that was dead. I'm alive. Yes. Forevermore, I got all yes. power. Amen. All power is entrusted to me now. All power. Yes. All power. Thank Not some, but all. Amen. I can speak and may speak and man will live. I can speak and man will die. Yes. But Jesus said, I'm just to defend you. Man, he can wave, move his hand and chaos will fall dirt. Thank you. But he's always standing in the gap saying, Lord, I died for him. Father, I died for him now. I believe that old man Satan comes up and he tells God, Look, all this messed up, be the messed up. Look here, I, I let me kill them because hey, they messed up. They ain't perfect. Look out. I, I got him now. Let me kill him. And that's when Jesus said, I, I dropped the charges on Calvary. Dad, I've already dropped the charges against Beasley. Before his time began, before the word began, I dropped all his charges. I went to the cross for all of them. And that's the new millennium Christian. The new in the western world too. Well is Jerusalem. Don't talk about the Gentile. No, that was lost. I, I've already paid their price. I paid their sin debt. It's already paid. What is he talking about? He is already paid. And that's when God had mercy on him. I thank God for grace. I thank God for mercy. Come on, somebody. All things. That means everything. Look here. Got a new walk. New shot. Everything new. Yes, Lord. Old things done passed away. Thank you. I can't wait. Now look at it. Because in, in, in this new Jerusalem that, that John had written and described in his vision in the, in the book of Revelation, he tells me that even about the streets, look, I visited one night in a dream. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Yes. Yeah. Big Sean, I've seen it. Those gold streets. All right. With that glassy covering over it. Right. I seen the table. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, can I walk these streets? And the angel said, no. You're not ready. All right. 
Heaven is a prepared place yes. for prepared people. Yes. Amen. Hey, hey, that means when I die, I'm coming to heaven. I ain't tell you that, boy. You got some work to do. Yes, yes sir. Right. You got some soul yes. searching to do, B. You got some casting out. You got to, you got some cleaning up to do. Cause you know, Mel, you can't your sinner, man. You can't come down here yet. It ain't ready for you to come here yet. Then, then, then why are you showing me this? I'm showing you where you could be. And Lord, Lord, where you could wind up. Hello? I even saw hell. I went before the Lord in this dream. I stood before the Lord. And I said, Lord, have I done wonderful works in thy sight? He said, apart from me, I know you not. Yes. And as I was going over this big bottom, this cliff, this cliff, and there's no end to the bottom, I remember what David said. He asked the Lord to save him. Yeah. He began to cry out to the Lord. Lord, save me. The angel swooped down and just got me and brought me back before the Lord. I was standing there. I couldn't look upon his face. Because the sun and the brightness of it was so high that I couldn't stand to look up. Yeah. Hello? All right. Don't get scared. Now, when you get that deep into the spiritual realm, God will reveal some stuff. Yeah. I came back to tell you, hell is not for you. Right. Who will want to die and go to hell? You don't have to go. Yeah. Yes. Jesus has already went down there and took care of the business and come back. And you have a right to the eternal life. All you got to do is live right. Yeah. Repent daily. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I love y'all. Yeah. Repent daily. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you think you have done something wrong. Repent. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Confess. Yeah. Right. Believe. Yeah. In your heart that God has raised him from the dead. And he shall be saved. come to church and try to get it. Right. Start repenting before you get it. Start praising God when you get up in the morning. Start telling God thank you for what you have already done. Not what you get ready to do, but for what you have already done. I thank you for what you've done 20 years ago. I thank you when I was in my mess. I had no knowledge of what I was doing. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was you that covered me. Your blood yes, Lord. that covered me. The meek and on my land. My Alpha and Omega, my Jehovah Jireh, my Jehovah Mesa, my provider. Yes, Amen. You made a way for me. Yes, right. Doors of the church is open. Yes, so John goes on and tells us about the new things. Mm -hmm. God gonna minister. He's the preacher. Yes, sir. Hello? God gonna tell us. Yes, sir. Because he's our spiritual leader. Right. God himself. John tells me going to be here. Hello? Amen. The new earth. The new heaven is going to be out of God himself. I just told you God is not human. Isaiah right. says he's not human that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent for anything. God has no right to say he's sorry. Right. There's nothing the devil can do. That can frustrate God's ultimate victory over him. It's already written. God have already said it. Before Satan, Lucifer have more soul than me. I will turn rocks into soul and send them up. Yes, mm -hmm. God can speak in a rock and come to human being. Right, yes, come on somebody. Yeah. Everything God touches, it comes to light. Yes, sir. Come on somebody. Yeah. When the earth was formed, it was in form, it was in darkness. But God said, let there be light. And there was light. If he said it, it's going to come to pass. Yes. The book of Revelation is coming to pass. All right. He tells us about them. Them horses. Yes, sir. Don't get scared. Y'all go home and read. Yes, sir. That's right. Two more minutes to come in behind me. Then you got the deep. Oh, I'm coming back in the deep. So we're going to get this clear with y'all. I want you to get this. Because you got a soul weighed in the balance. Yes. Whether you want to go to heaven, you can choose life, or you can choose eternal condemnation. 
and that's death. You won't die. You won't burn forever. I don't know about you, but I'm going to praise God. Amen. I'm going to give God the glory. Amen. I'm going to praise Him in the battle. Yes, because the Bible said, man, the angels will come. Hey, the dead in Christ going to get up first. Yes, Revelation let me know that we're going to get the one that died in Christ going to get up first. The saints of God going to come back with Jesus. Yes, in that heavenly host of angels. We coming back with him to make war with the beast. Yes, and in the end, he going to win. God going to win. Yes. I'm going to be on the winner side. Yes, that's right. Say no that his time is not long. If I were you, I would come to Christ. Give your life to the Lord. Yes. You only got one soul. Give it to Christ. Amen. Amen. Don't let the enemy tell you that you got plenty of time. Amen. Because you don't. That's right. You don't know the day nor the hour. Right. Yes. I'm imagining that young boy that started rapping here a couple months ago who knew the devil was going to hit him in the nightclub. He probably would have been in home somewhere or in the church giving God the glory, but he didn't know. What look good ain't good for you. Right. Hello? I said that to say this. You're playing with your life. Because you don't never know when death is going to come. You can be in a nightclub on the bottom of the floor, Paul said, dancing. You ain't doing nothing but a bullet has no perspective first. A straight bullet, you don't know where it's going to go. I'm quite sure that the young man and that young girl that got killed, I believe one of them will from you fall out of bounds. They didn't know that bullet was coming from them. It wasn't meant for them. But they just happened to be in the place. Don't let him catch you with your works undone.